how this really differs from the other existing alignment softwares and systems that are already out there. Our goal is not to, to get it better than it used to be before. Our goal is to get the, the best possible result out of it. And that has to take into account the character of the room. And this, this is what we, what we can achieve with this new developed software. The measurement system takes into account with everything it has learned so far and measured so far, the time distance from one lot speaker to the other yeah. and calculates this and corrects this. Then it takes uh, the reverberation time of the room, um, reflections inside the room and uh, determines the real listening environment mm. character. Yeah. So the room character is um, calculated and based on the room character, and this is what we see here now, um, the system generates a target response. This is this orange curve here in the background. And this curve is not ruler flat. The point is that very individual from room to room, from, from listening environment to listening environment, the character can change. And just having a, a ruler flat uh, response here doesn't lead to the best acoustical results. Therefore, with all the information we have captured now, we can create or the system creates a new target curve and tries to align the loudspeakers individually as good as possible with, with all the options which are in to this new target curve. So please are not scared if, if the <laughs> response is not really flat. Uh, it should be as it is. Mm. Yeah? So <clears throat> all these calculations have been done in the background. The white curve is now the average between all of the measured loudspeakers. So it really shows the result of the left loudspeaker, the right loudspeaker in combination in this case with the subwoofer yeah. and is displayed here. Also small individual dips and peaks are still in this results and it would be counterproductive if they were all uh, aligned completely flat. Yeah. So, what we can do here now is we can switch off the correction by ticking this box here. And then we see what happened before. So how the loudspeaker behaved before the automatic alignment. And what we also can do, we can listen directly to okay. those two different settings that we have. What we now can do here uh, in, in this screen is we can modify the result. Mm. So in case you listen to it and you say, uh, okay, I don't like it at this point or at that point, or I just want to do some, some more tests and, and modify things, mm. um, this is where you can do so. So what we have is we have eight parametric equalizers mm. and two shelf, a high shelf and a low shelf. So, and, and what these EQs are doing is they modify the target response. You are not having direct access to the individual EQs of the loudspeakers. Mm -hmm. We are modifying the target response and based on this new modified target response, the system calculates, also considering what, what else has been measured and the room character and so on, to retune the loudspeakers to this modified target yeah. response. Okay? So if we, for example, go to any frequency, let's take uh, 20 hertz here as an example, and then we can move up or down the frequency at this point. We can also change the Q, we can also change um, the frequency manually. And then you have to recalibrate the system. That takes a bit. And once the screen has changed to black, then you can see, okay, these, the new values are calculated and transferred in the loudspeakers.